Texas surgeon's been indicted for exposing castration on minors. It's June 18th, 2024, and these are your headlines. The Biden administration has unsealed the indictments against surgeon Ethan Heim, who exposed the continuation of chemical castration procedures on minors after Texas Children's Hospital, where he worked, publicly stated it had stopped performing those procedures. He faces a four-count indictment alleging that he obtained personal information of patient names, treatment codes, and the attending physician using the institution's electronic system without authorization. This follows Himes' initial uncovering of continued sterilization procedures at Texas Children's Hospital and his subsequent prosecution. Several years ago, the institution proudly proclaimed its support for chemical castration on minors as medical professionals administered cross-sex hormones and puberty blockers to gender-confused children. Well, due to immense pressure from the public, the hospital claimed to have stopped the procedures. CEO Mark Wallace announced that the program would be shut down. However, as Heim revealed, the program had continued the procedures. Federal attorneys say Heim allegedly requested to reactivate his hospital login credentials to view patient medical information, even though they were not under his care. A press release from their office says that he's accused of accessing client information under false pretenses and then leaking it to media contacts. He faces up to 10 years in federal prison and a fine of up to $250,000 if convicted. Another story concerning the weaponization of state and federal bureaucracies against medical professionals and whistleblowers from Texas. After recently disclosing that her ongoing struggle with the Texas Medical Board has exhausted her insurance policy's litigation budget, Dr. Mary Talley Bowden recently announced she was moving forward without legal representation. She's been locked in an administrative struggle with the state over her successful treatment of patients with ivermectin after supplies of monoclonal antibodies were cut off during the COVID-19 pandemic several years ago now. Over the weekend, Bowden posted to X that her attorneys, Steve Mitby and Michael Barnhart, are back on the case and have offered to represent her pro bono going forward. This wasn't the only bit of news she disclosed. According to her post, Last week, TMB lawyers offered her an agreed offer that would have required her to take 12 hours of continued learning and a jurisprudence exam. The settlement offer, however, would mar her record. An alternative path that does exist that would keep Bowdoin's record intact, a remedial plan that has reportedly been offered to other doctors even after allegations of assault. These are the latest in a string of offers and come after the TMB aborted a hearing set for late April at the last minute. Did you know you can watch Texas Scorecard on your TV? If you have a Roku or Apple TV device, download the free Texas Scorecard app. There you can find all the great Texas Scorecard video content, like daily headlines, the Luke Messias show, Heads Up, and Scorecard documentaries. Download the Texas Scorecard app for free on Roku or Apple TV. Tarrant County GOP Chair Bo French is continuing to expose leftist infiltration in Fort Worth, revealing documents that show Fort Worth City Council's hired a diversity consultant. A French uncovered documents showing the Fort Worth City Council expanded funding for its diversity and inclusion department by $150,000 to fund a business equity study. According to the documents, the study will be performed by Colette Holt, the owner of Colette Holt & Associates. Her company is a consultant for, quote, issues relating to inclusion, diversity, and affirmative action. She's also known and dubbed a nationally recognized expert in designing, implementing, and defending affirmative action programs. Her client list includes the cities of Arlington, Fort Worth, Harris County, Austin ISD, U.S. Department of Justice, wow, and the U.S. Department of Transportation. She also did consulting work for the Seattle Children's Hospital, which is notorious for its children's gender clinic. That clinic allegedly assists minors with gender mutilated procedures. That hospital also sued Attorney General Ken Paxton for requesting records relating to minors transported out of state for gender mutilation surgeries. Beau French told Texas Scorecard that it's clear that the Fort Worth City Council has rejected the values of the community. A Fort Worth City spokesperson said the study aims to optimize taxpayer funds by supporting local small businesses 
through participation and capacity building in city contracts. For more of today's stories, go to texasscorecard.com.